the Inferno call. As this pistol round's already underway, and right away, it's going to be Fnatic running out into top mid. Heretic's leaning heavily at the B site, and so there's only Kiyoshima here. Oh, XMS has got players coming his way, and he's here to play today. He deals with two, and that slows down this attempt at the wrap into CT. It's all a ruse, it's all pretend. Right round the corner, it's Maka again, tapping away, but he can't quite get the kill. And so now, Fnatic, three on four, they slow it right down, and I'll slow it right down as well as now they look for a way out of this round. Oh, that's a big kill from Flusher. They know that they just saw Maka enter the site as well from Library. Kyo is full HP in the pit. Brolin is so low. We got two players on three points of health. And due to that rotation of Maka, Flusher's going to take the gap. He's going to move into the CT spawn and try and wrap this B bomb site. The worry is we don't know, or Fnatic don't know, where this other B player is. Brolin, oh, that's perfect. He hears Maka running down mid and gets that free kill. They're trying to figure out where Lucky's gotten to. Full bell to Util and hiding in the ruins. Fnatic are pinching on him slowly but surely. He could be anywhere from CT to sandbags. And so Flash has got to have his wits about him. But that's just another day in the office. Big kill and the deep smoke to keep that last CT out. Kyo's coming through the spawn and Brolin's got a very open plant. Oh, Flusher just hounds him down. Fnatic, they get that pistol round from a two on four. They're able to right their wrongs and they get that locked in. So that one going their way, now a chance to get off to a good start. And it feels like they're going to need it considering how one-sided Nuke was. We don't have much to go off of in terms of head-to-heads -head between these two teams. They've played once at the Road to Rio in the European division, as you might expect. That wasn't all too long ago. I'm only asking you to think back about four months. But there, Inferno was the second map in the series after Heretics were able to pick up Nuke. And Fnatic barely won that game 16-14. So, bearing that in mind, and bearing in mind how much more one-sided Nuke was this time around, we need to see a little bit more from the Swedes. Pressure really is on for these boys. And Heretics are so hungry to take this upset victory. They don't want their lifeline to end here in Cologne either. Fnatic with a B execute. Man down our Heretics already. Two CTs here with a boost up. The spam. Oh dear, it's very, very white. Everyone's blind. No one can see a thing. And Fnatic are going to get all the kills required. Already Nevera backing up. It might have to be the save here for Heretics. Fnatic going 2-0 up. Already things starting off a lot better here on this second map. Oh dear, the timing. Welcome to Counter-Strike. Yeah, five rounds in the first half of a nuke for Fnatic, and, and that was the CT side as well. So uh, it was a little worrying, and that's why it's all the more better that they're starting off strong here. Keo just avoiding JW. He's not going to get spotted, but JW will be walking all the way through the apartment and might be able to hit a nice timing here. We'll have to see. Uh -oh. Look at JW, he's running, he's gunning, and he's going to oh. get there, but Crims takes it away. Right, Fnatic, 2-0. That's what we want to see. They get past the four spy. They make it look nice and easy, and that's exactly what we wanted. Heretics now, just going to have to take an eco round here in round number three. And so, you know, maybe we just take it easy, Hugo. Maybe you're speaking a nice down-tempo voice. Cheers, man. I appreciate you leaving me hanging on that <laughs> how, one. How, how down tempo do you want, Harry? Do you want to just kind of relax, sit back? I would love that. Grab a Mountain Dew. Oh. Open a DHL drop. Oh. Get an Intel i9 processor. Oh, my goodness. That would be so good. And you could as well. You folks watching at home, you could do exactly all of those things. I'm At the jealous. same time. I'm jealous. Heretics, they're having a nice break, Harry. They're chilling. They're relaxing. Chillaxing. And acting all cool. Shooting some b-ball. Outside of the skull. And a couple of Swedes who are up to no good. Started making trouble in the neighborhood. And, well, they put a few guys in apps, and XMS got scared. And he went around the corner and just wasn't prepared. Crims, here it is. <laughs> Get a nail in. And there we go. That's what we wanted. Now things kind of hit, kick up a little bit, rather. Uh, Crim's oh, like knows, man. He knows that Mac is there. Mac in the graveyard. And as we know from Fnatic, every gravedigger dies. Ooh, Vera, 
Tapping down. Oh, not again. Not the pistols no, again. Not eco. Come on. It can't happen twice in one best of three, Fnatic. You got to get it under no. control. No. How's it happening again? Flusher. It's fine. Relax. Okay. It's okay. flush. Okay. Flush is still alive. This guy knows Counter Strike like the back of his hand. He has been there. He has done that. He has done the unthinkable. Wow. And by comparison, this 1v2 should be nothing. So let's see. Flusher gets the bomb down. This will be the second loss to full USPs for Fnatic, unless Flusher holds his own. So. This is, just for my sanity, an important round. Flusher, let's see. UMP, both players here. Yeah. Swings out. First man hits the deck. And now just Maka left. Flusher's going to return us to normality. Oh. And there it is. Fnatic, they'll get that third. But to say they didn't break a sweat, that would be a lie. Yeah, I love the, I love the play for Flusher as well. He knows that armless. He knows the USPs. If you give them too much respect there, you're going to lose. If you wait at the back of the site, you're going to lose. So he hunts them down. He chases them with a the UMP. That's the perfect gun for it. Choose through those Frenchmen. And yeah, that's still a scary, scary round. And it's, it's stuff like this that are why Fnatic are in this position in the first place, right? Like crucial rounds that they should never be losing. They should always win. Uh, well, that's exactly what they were full of on Nuke, except losing them, of course. Big kill for JW, running right up Banana and finding Nevera. There's almost the orb trade down middle from Maka. He's going to have to fight another day, though. XMS, oh, good timing on that peak. Flusher goes out wide, but he will fall short. Fnatic, four on four, going back towards A. What? How is that not a hit? You can see the bullet go through the wall. I think he got shot at the same time, so his bullet went a little bit too high. Keo dropping down low, though. Brolin falls on his head. The old Goomba stomp. Uh, Mac is burning to a crispy crisp. He's going to have to jump out of there. We'll, uh, we'll manage to, at least. Looks like a retake round here for Heretics. They have got a kit for it, though. Lucky spammed a bit there through that smoke. Not going to be the end of the world if heretics do still want to attempt this three on three retake. Maka round in the corner at short with this orb. XMS over in the apartments and Brolin hidden in graveyard. That Molotov could deal with JW, oh, but he dear. takes one to the grave nice. with him. Now Brolin shows his hand and trapped in the graveyard, but he's fine with it. Mac is going to retreat. Fnatic, they take themselves a fourth round. They get that one under wraps. Whew. Big sigh of relief. Whew. Back to normality for the time being. Fnatic in control. And Heretics at least giving them a run for their money, making these rounds interesting and close. Inferno is always a go-to. I love Fnatic CT side of Inferno. Uh, specifically, their pistol rounds are always very, very exciting. They love buying a hell of a lot of utility. I imagine we'll see that later on. Maka, oh boy, he waits for no one. Runs right down middle, but it backs up after one missed shot. JW does the same, but he will continue forward. Holden running up through the molly as it fades, taking XMS out of the round. And the pistol's still here on B. Lucky. Oh dear, that smoke, it bounces into the Molotov. And it's not going to bloom how he hoped. It's a big gap. It's a big opening. And Golden's going to exploit it. No one left on B to hold on. No lurking players at the back of the site. And so Fnatic, this is the round done and dusted. It's all about damage here for Heretics. What's this sweaty molly? What are you doing, Brolin? It looked like he wanted to throw one through the skybox into the ruins, but... Yeah, he's... he's He's doing something here. Oh, better luck next time. Ooh. Ooh. Not bad. Pretty cool. I know, man. That was a lot of time just for that payoff. He's right? stalling it. You know, you don't want to do it too early. CTs might not even be there. Akka's got the one thing worth holding on to, and he's willing to risk it all. Now, that's a, that's a ballsy move for Maka. He's actually going to back on out now, and rightfully so. Still, 5-0 and for Fnatic and a flawless round as well. That's even better. As they look to make this a lengthy series indeed. Heretics, obviously was just pistols around this orb, so you know, have another chance. Oh. The, uh, the follow up round, Brolin's turned the lights off. That's what's happened. That's the difference. Oh, speed beard itching now with Crims. He's speed running the, uh, 
Oh, for JW, you're having a little drink. Drinking well. a margarita there. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's taking time. it nice and easy, man. JW, you still on the player break. He's still, uh, he's still chilling out. Well, the only margaritas I'm used to are the pizza kind. Backer down here over towards Top Banana. Ready to get stuck in with this orb. Ooh, he's going to get taken oh. down. Golden on the what? entries and the B site belongs to Fnatic. Move over, Heretics, because Golden's in town. And already it's a save for the remaining two. This is brutal. That's back-to-back -back rounds that Golden has gotten up behind the half wall without Heretics realizing. Like, they peak B, they go, oh, guys, it's clear. Our mollies worked. No, your mollies did not work. Golden swings as the close one fades and takes all the kills. Great spray transfer as well. It's going to swap out that AWP, I wonder. Two T-side orbs on Inferno is not meta. So maybe get rid of that one for the time being. God, they're taking their time, aren't they? Really trying to do the maths here. All right, if we sell this... Uh, where, oh, I forgot the reference, but it's fine. Yeah, I imagine he's throwing one out at the end. Regardless, it's a sixth round for Fnatic. And that's already a problem that Heretics need to fix, right? Like, either give up the top of B early if, if your mollies aren't working, or... Oh, dear. Or um, stop assuming it's clear, because no one's ready for the close swing, and Crims has done that too on A. Both kills for him. One up saved. And Fnatic back in control. Look at this transfer. Boom. And then another one. Damn. It's really nice to see Golden looking this damn good, right? And hopefully that can be the difference maker for Fnatic. He was the only guy to finish positive at the end of Nuke. So, you know, he's keeping up his positive appearances right now. 6-0. Flasher up there now alongside him. We've got like this supporting cast around Golden that we were looking for. Money's in a bit of a weird spot here for Heretics. Maka is rich, Keo's pretty well off, but the rest of the gang, they're not looking so hot. So curious what the decision is here. Maka can definitely afford to throw something into this round. He's gonna get an AWP, that's ballsy. One AWP, pistols and armor around him. We've seen how these USPs have gotten it close time and time again, but is that gonna be enough for a repeat? round number seven and will they be ready for golden flying up banana because they certainly haven't been in these last few this time he's given that mantle over to jw with the awp the jwp such a heavy B stack and Fnatic have gotten so many picks and just run in off the back of it but this time it's the CTs to push forward with the flashbang lucky steals the kill away and the AWP is here to play XMS swinging getting the bomb back under the control of Heretics and even though Crims has gotten an A pick and opened up the site it's no use for the site with no bomb to plant good grenade backer Needs to be careful here. Brolin could grab it. It's in the smoke. He could try and whip it out, but he doesn't know that. Uh, oh, he's, he's going to get through. bashed in for aggressive fight. Oh, dear. It's messy. But he is going to get out of there. They get the bomb. They run away. Fnatic, they're thieves. They've stolen it from under Heretics' nose. And now the rotation back into the A bomb site for the Frenchman. They run and they gun. But Brolin and Crims, they're going to get this bomb down regardless over an A. Open an AK in the retake. They're going to give it a go because a buy is coming in next round anyway. And Keo falling at the first hurdle. That might be the save call now for XMS, who's in this 1v2 armed with the AWP. Fnatic just aren't giving anything up. And so he'll have to leave. He'll have to know when to hold him and when to fold him. And this is the seventh round for Fnatic in a row. They're heretics. This is probably one of their closer rounds yet. Unfortunately, close just doesn't quite cut it. Fnatic, they have sharpened their knives coming into this one. Seven rounds apiece and no issue in shutting down every situation. That was like a four on two as well. Flush is trying to dart back down. Banana getting dropped in the back by uh, XMS. <laughs> Maka running to grab a gun. Gets flashed by Brolin going aggressive. Flashed by Crims rather. Killed by Brolin. It's the one-two punch that never gets easier. Heretics have got to be feeling the burn right now. 
They may have taken Nuke with ease, 16 to 8 in the opening map of this series, but Fnatic are no sleepers. They're not going to get knocked out of this tournament without at least putting up a fight. And it is their map pick where they start to find success. Golden again, running up Banana. They just can't seem to stop this man. He's going to find an opening. And with a Molly at the corner thrown by Fnatic, Heretics can't re-aggress the trade. Kira will do it elsewhere, finding Crims in the apartments. And so this will slow things down for Fnatic for the time being. Yeah, that kills big, right? Because so often it's been an open found and then very little punishment. However, Flusher keeps the good times rolling in at B. XMS is now here alone. Fnatic keeping it in control. XMS waiting patiently. JW rotating in to join Flusher here at Banana. They're going to try and take it together. XMS on the angle. Flusher bests in with the AK, and that B site becomes a problem once again. Fnatic move in, and they're uncontested the whole damn way. But it's not even a B play. I was going to say, it should end up being a B play. They rotated JW back, so I was thinking they were going to commit. But Flusher realizes not only is B clear, but there's not even players in CT. And so that bomb's going to go down with no fight from Heretics. This has been a very one-sided game so far. It's just been horrible, really. Like, you can imagine what this feels like for Heretics. You're just saving, really, in the opening minute of every round. It's not been a lot of fun. Yeah, that would have been a little bit dicey if, uh, if they used Flash to flank CT and try and take A. But uh, very much realizing after he goes through that smoke, hmm, no one's shot at me. No one's uh, taking any fire. So, got to be clear. Now, he's just showing off now, MC, okay? I'm loving it, though. Keep it up. Ooh. Yeah, Heretics, do they have any answers? They've got another eco following them here as the money's starting to drip dry. Mac has got a, a bit of cash left up. And of course, Lost Bonus, Lost Bonus maxed out. This save is going to allow guns to be dropped over. And so Heretics can get full rifles, the AWP, everything they need. It's clear they just need to stop stop Golden. That's that's the problem right now. He was the one man really doing everything back on Nuke, finding those opening kills four and over by the end of things. And, you know, right now he's doing that again. He's just running up Banana and finding entries. If it's not him, it's JW with that orb. So whether that be to double nade the close position after they get those mollies in, or simply just to give up the top of Banana and retake it like we've seen in the past with when they're on pistols, those could both be solutions here for heretics. Of course, you don't want to just completely concede control without at least attempting to take it, because then Fnatic, if they just get Banana for free, they can do whatever they want. They can fake you out over on A. They can double back late in the round. They have so many options available to them. So it makes sense as to why heretics are fighting for this position. Crims might need to blink twice if he's okay. Looks like he's being held prisoner. There's like a white sheet over yeah. his chair. There's plastic wrap all over the wall behind him. What what's on the line for this? Like, if fanatic don't don't get to the next stage via someone clone crims, you're uh, Patrick Bateman. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're in for a very bad time. Have you seen his business card though? Ah, oh, they've got the cards, they've got the credentials, and they want to go back into top B. Those nades are brutal, and already Heretics is so wounded at the top of Banana Fanatic. They're once again in the driver's seat in the opening 20, 30 seconds of the round. Golden's creeping up. He's going to get flashed in here. I imagine by JW as he just waits on the half wall for now. JW's got those flashbangs and Flusher doesn't. So I'm imagining he's going to double back maybe to help Golden out. They could just leave him there, though, as a lurk, yeah. right? In case heretics try and re-aggress into Banana later on. Flash is really selling it. I like it when teams do this. He's sitting at the bottom of the bee, spamming the wood like Fnatic don't have Banana control, hoping that heretics think, oh, let's take a peek. They're at bottom B when they're actually closer. But obviously heretics aren't falling for that because they're playing passive. They don't want to continue to give up the round over on B within 20 seconds, which has been a repeated uh, problem. They're giving away so much room, in fact. You know, Fnatic can wrap CT, and with this Moto Smoke, I think that's exactly what they're going to go and do. Take control of Arch, get into that CT spawn, and take over B. Heretics are aware of it, right? They're looking towards CT spawn from B, but it means they're going to have to adjust positions as Golden is up in Banana, starting to make a move. I like the setup. It's very risky. You're gambling that Golden, you know, or the majority of Ts aren't in the Banana taking over the site, but at the same time, you have a crossfire to fight the CT position out. 
This is the most like claustrophobic CT setup I think I've ever seen. And that's the danger of it. Like you just lose yeah. both players in an instant splitting through CT and banana. Round's over. It's done. Bomb plant at B. Save again for heretics. These guys on A are having a really fun time right now. <laughs> Welcome to Inferno. It's like, right, well, we're saving again. Cool. Um, so Fnatic don't hunt us down with 10 seconds left <laughs> when they know exactly where we are. And I mean, they could. Look at the money. 14K on Brolin. 13 on Golden. No reason to hide. But yeah, I, I'm impressed that... It, it's funny because Heretics read that round. They, they knew exactly what was going on. But Fnatic read it even better. The, those close CT positions, not just one, but two of them getting checked. And, well, I mean, it, it's pretty clear when Fnatic are pushing in through CT and seeing no one on the site, no one at New Box, that you know, they've got to be hiding for your rap. But right now, yeah, with the way this is going, heretics, they the might be handing wrap. out. Yeah. What's that about? Plastic on the door. He's not trapped in there with them. They're trapped in there with him. Look at that. The best clear you're ever It's like see. synchronized, yeah. isn't it? It's like, doesn't even feel reasonable. They don't even get to fire a bullet while trying to hold B. Heretics, what is the solution here? Like, this is. This is scary. Fnatic went from sleeping at the wheel to veering their way into first place. Maka oh my. boosted over. JW is waiting for a peak that like doesn't even exist. Lucky. Now holding on to middle, or uh, banana rather, does get one, but that's it for him. At least they keep it in a four on four. But if this just ends up being an explosive B play, unless these guys in the site are able to get a killer piece before going down, it will be another save. I expect you folks at home to be more than aware of that, though. We've had a crash course in saving on Inferno. Here comes the play. Oh. Lucky flashed off the angle. Down goes XMS already. It's not a great round here for Heretics. If Lucky can't find anything through the smoke, this might have to... That's Ooh. a collateral. He gets them both, but not the killing blow to either. Heretics are saving again. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Harry. Like, he hits a two for one with zero kills. He'll never even know about it. And Fnatic, they're going to get double digits before Heretics even find an opening round of this map. It is Fnatic's pick, and boy, for good reason. But right now, Heretics, they've just got to try and get away. Kyo's accountant must love him, though. It's easy to convince this guy to save, right? And that's like, it, it's just been every round for heretics over here, just holding on to guns. You know, B doesn't work out, and then they have to save. This is brutal. Fnatic are looking so damn good. I think that's yeah. why we keep seeing Crims, like, laughing as well. Like, he's, he's kind of amazed at what this has entailed thus far. I have not, you know, I've seen some, some real, like, save games on Inferno yeah. where, that, where it feels like this is happening, but I don't think I've seen one where it's as consistent. Like... There has been, I think, one attempt at a retake in this whole game so far. And, yeah, and it's not even like, oh, wow, I can't believe heretics aren't going for retakes. They're not in positions where they can go for retakes. Their, their rotates are, are, are so far away after Fnatic get all these kills. I'd love to see heretics change the pace, right? Get aggressive. Even if it's not banana, even if that hasn't been going for you, try and push a man down mid. Try and take ult mid, right? Some rounds, nice shot. Some rounds, Fnatic have been defaulting and holding, you know, passive in second, but not every round, not this round, for example. Heretics, this is like the perfect position. Maybe it wouldn't be always, but right now, to get aggressive in those apartments, to try and take... Oh, no. Oh, dear. Lucky didn't realize Golden got out past the Molotov. That's been golden all game long. And Brolin, he's out on long, finding Nevera on that rotate. Heretics finally think, guys, we're going to retake. We're going to give it a go. And, well, Brolin says no. But, yeah, maybe the answer is simply to, to try and ease the pressure by getting this control. The fact that you're losing banana, but then you're also losing middle, like, you can't, you can't not have either side of the map. You have to at least be fighting for middle, especially when, in the vast majority of these rounds, Heretics are running AAA and then playing inside of the site. Like, you're giving, you're giving Fnatic the room to take long, to wrap Archway, to get out mid for free. That just can't keep happening. It's not just B being the problem, but it certainly isn't helping. Oh, maybe, maybe gets away with the AWP, but even then it's a question mark. Flusher was hounding them down. There's max money on almost everyone on Fnatic right now. So this is, uh, this is horrible. Maka trying to stay alive and he will. Nice. So there we go. He holds on to that AWP, but it's 11 and 0 for Fnatic. This, this could be like a, a clean sweep if we're not careful. 
Maka with three kills in the round. Sadly, none of them really finding any impact as they are just saving play. Uh, sorry, he is just a saving player there. Pretty grim consolation uh, for, for that round slipping by the wayside. What have we got here? Or Banana Utility, at least keeping Fnatic out for the time being, but that time is not going to be lasting all too long. Oh, lucky. Oh, no, he had him. Dead to right, so this back turn in the corner. Golden lives to fight. He's going to get popped up. It's a great grenade. The jump through. Lucky hits the shot. Flusher is spamming and getting connections with his bullets, but no kill. Finally, Heretic's in a good spot. And with a deep smoke and banana, that keeps Fnatic out. Do we finally see Fnatic just overwhelm the A site early on? They might have to. Heretics have taken all the way down bottom banana. They've rotated Lucky through. XMS is flanking mid, but that could offer up something to Fnatic. Instead, it takes away. Flusher dead. And uh, now Fnatic. I mean, at this point, what can you do? Look for kills individually. I like that. XMS just goes aggressive. It's like, at this point, how can it get any worse, right? Yeah. So he takes that aggression. He's get, he gets rewarded for it. This banana aggression works brilliantly for Heretics. And, you know, like playing like you have nothing to lose is sometimes the uh, the way to go about it. XMS tagged on the jump peak, but it's not really much. It's going to force a rotation back from Lucky at the very, very least. It's a two on three here at the A bomb site for Fnatic. JW and Crims, the two players in question. And finally, Heretics might be about to break the streak. Maka flashed off the angle, drops the smoke. Looks like he might want to go in with a repeat here on the back of that flash, but nothing materializes from it. Crims, Ooh. so blind, oh, but no. Nevera was blind as well. There was a chance where they find him. Now they might not know that Crims is so deep, but he's hard pressed to find anything here. There's one. Lucky lines it up <laughs> in the collateral. And finally, one Woo! of his shots lands in the way that it should. It's a first on the board for Heretics. 16, no. It's get, it's get, uh, it gets denied. I didn't want to say it because then I would have cursed it. So luckily, I wait till it's, uh, it's gone anyway. Heretics find a round, at least something. They did something, but is it going to be enough? Great shot from Lucky, from Library as well. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, it's not just like at the top of the door. The plastic goes all the way <laughs> down. What's he trying to keep out? Or what's he trying to keep in? Utility up B again for Fnatic. XMS is trapped. Here's the app's aggression. This is what we've been waiting for. Kyo, five and five. We're 12 rounds in, mate. He's barely seen anyone, but he will take the advantage. Nevera following up and Heretics getting a couple of kills to start this round. Will that force Fnatic into B? Potentially. Lucky needs to double back. Yeah, I was going to say, we've got so much control for Heretics on this A site, plus middle still under their wing. Mac is fighting through the smoke. He knows this one's clear for the time being. And Golden might be cleared as it fades. There it is. Now with mid spotted and Fnatic making noise at the top of Banana. Heretics are ready for the push. Yeah, it's... Keo's flank that should have this dead to rights. So, you know, he's going to be arriving very, very quickly and more quickly than maybe Heretics are ready for. Down goes JW. Flusher falls shortly there and after. Second on the board for the Frenchman. But it still feels like, you know, too little, too late, perhaps. There's a chance they can turn this around as they start to right their wrongs. We need a 4 11 half. You know, they need to get all these rounds at a bare minimum, really, if they want to have any chance of pulling it back here and now. Money was never going to be a problem for Fnatic being 11-0 up, so we got that to look forward to as well. Nades down Banana. And finally, Fnatic's aggression here kind of tapering off as a bit of respect has been gained by Heretics. Ow. Oof. Careful. Fnatic just hoarding this banana control. They've got all five players here looking for a early B execute. There are Molotovs on this B bomb site though, or A Molotov on Lucky. XMS is close to the smoke. Do or die, living life on the edge. No utility, no worry. He's going to try and fight as they come through, blocking these bodies. Oh, baby. He only gets one. That could have been so much more. Lucky now has to pick up the pieces of the round, but instead his round is in pieces. A three on three as Fnatic plant the bomb. 
Oh, nice shot from JW there to find Nevera. Through the smoke, Maka creeping in. Does get rid of him. Down to the 2v2. Keo on the CT rotate. Going to uncover that one player here is in the ruins. Still don't know about Golden. And that's what Maka's having to worry about now. Back in the bomb site, he will throw a smoke down on that bomb to try and tap it. And these players here have been cordoned. Oh. But Golden catches him. And now for Maka, all that's left to do is try and grab the defuse, taps it, baits the peak, dodges bullets, and now, oh, Ooh. lands the no-scope. But Crims trades 12 on the board for Fnatic as they get another. Maybe he would have won it if he stuck it right. Golden was spamming right past him, and he got off it for free and, and just tried to wait for Crims. Turns around, gets double peak, still hits a shot. Ola didn't realize he was like running in the smoke. Like, this smoke is lasting forever. Well, it's XMS body blocking, but uh, only sprays down one. I love the, the balls on Maka to just go through the smoke, flies through with the AWP, shoots JW at the back because Fnatic was set up double ruin side. But, well, they'll ruin Heretic's day with that round. Oh, Maka, thank the uh, Lord. He gets smoked by his teammate, keeping himself alive as the Molotov could have burnt him to a crisp. Even takes the advantage of the flusher as well. It's a fast play through the mid smoke. Dear, oh dear, Nevera, good for one, but it's a double trade. And just like that, Fnatic own the A site. Heretics, a triple B setup, having to rotate all the way through. If XMS was faster, he could have cut off the bomb, but he wasn't to know. And JW can jump out of the apartments or just throw the bomb down. We'll go with the former plant in the site. XMS, quick kill, and the retake's on. Brolin tucked in at Graveyard. He's been such a nuisance from this position. Gonna have two players to deal with over at Short and XMS slowly but surely working his way through the apartments, finds that kill. It falls to JW. He's had a pretty quiet game thus far. Missed shot. Rocky closes oh. the gap and XMS gonna delete him. That there is a third for Heretics at the end of the first half of play as they just about get that one on the board. This is still an overwhelming first half from Fnatic. Can the Frenchman bounce back? Or is here on Inferno. Brolin's got the dual Berettas, so we know that we are in for a treat. He's got them over at Banana trying to pull a Keto. Maybe he doesn't want to pull a Keto on account of them being eliminated from the oh. tournament. XMS with a double entry now. Getting Heretics into this A site. Brolin, I want to see what he can do. With these dual Berettas up through mid, he creeps, he crawls into their nightmares and into their dreams as he tries to snatch them away. And, well, dual Berettas is terrible, of course. That's the lesson we're all learning right now. It's hilarious because they're bad, but if you kill someone with duelies, you always pick them up without fail. Oh, Flasher delivering a couple of nice kills, but he's surely not ready for the man on the box. And it doesn't matter because Nevera's got him anyway. So Heretics, pistol round locked in for their name and still a chance here. Moving into the second half of play, it's been pretty down tempo to start this Inferno game. And that's what tends to happen when you have an 11-0 scoreline with saves every round. I, I do like the pace that Heretics already set into that pistol, right? Running right up mid. Fnatic, they, they check mid, they see it, and they're like, oh yeah, we can boost up. Let's let's throw a guy on porch. Well, they get met with a flashbang from Maka and XMS jumping through the smoke so fast they were not ready. And it's gonna be Heretics starting off the comeback. Can it continue though? The force by for Fnatic looking to put a stop to it as soon as possible. Golden trapped in front of the Molotov does a lot of damage, but he won't get finished off until Flusher uh, throws in some grenades. Maka retrieves a gun, but don't count Fnatic out of this round. Oh yeah, we got Rush observing. I missed that guy. Ooh. Down here over towards Shaw, it's going to be a fast play into A, but JW down in pit. Oh, well, actually he's missed all his chances and he runs out of them. Nevera's going to burn him out. Flusher and Crims, 2v4. And knock it on the door of this A bomb site, but you can see Crims has actually already vacated the area. No cold calling for him, instead it's Flusher. Trying to bring this down to a gentle simmer at the A bomb site. And he's just holding on for exits. They're not going to give this one a go. It's a fifth round for Heretics. So, you know, this chance at coming back in the second half, you know, we're not going to have a full understanding of how that's going to go till the rifles come out. But these are the building blocks, the foundations getting laid by Heretics right now. Yeah. And with Fnatic forcing as well, it only gives, like, technically, as long as you win the uh, conversion, it gives you, like, an extra free round, right? Because that equal gets delayed. Obviously, it means Fnatic's first buy is better than it would be in this round now. 
But uh, yeah, it gives you an extra chance for Heretics. That being said, if you're Fnatic, you always force when you have a dominant first half. I mean, Fnatic always force anyway, so I'm never going to disagree with that. But yeah, Heretics, don't count them out at all. Uh, this has been a competitive game already, uh, considering the map of Nuke, right? Different situation, but they stormed through Fnatic on that one. So what's to say they can't do it on the T side here? They found 10 rounds back on T side Nuke. So let's see Inferno. Fnatic, not with a lot. Just those saved SMGs and CZs. Prims, uh, uh, JW's doing something here. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Keo, yeah. Uh, whenever you're up against JW, you check everywhere, right? Like, if you're in these apartments, you have to be the most scrutinizing landlord. You've got to check for anything you can if you want to get that deposit. And well, JW does falter. So, Heretics now in this five on four, only up against pistols to begin with. And it should be one that they're able to get locked in relatively easily. Yeah, I noticed there's some muddy footprints on your doormat. That will be the 500 pounds I'm keeping now. <laughs> right. Oh, that's a bit of a messy one. These USPs, they bite back, as we've seen from Heretics. They nearly won an eco in the first half. Well, right now, they're losing to one here. There's a little bit more to play with for Fnatic, though, and they're showing us what they can do. Oh, dear, Crims, or Keo, rather, doesn't even react. Brolin just shoots him in the face from the site. Keo is looking down long, and uh, blinking, you miss it. It's Nevera in a one-on-four. Yeah, this might put an end to that little comeback dream unless Nevera is able to do something spectacular. Brolin hits the deck. Nevera has opened up with one of the four needed and everyone else is pretty low on HP. Nevera up here on the big stage versus the Swedish legends of Fnatic gets this bomb planted and now into the 1v2. Golden's making noise in the apartments and his attention stripped away for just a moment by that USP. It's a round for Fnatic, 13 on the board as they get it done with just pistols. Heretic's going to be kicking themselves as now that shoe is on the other foot. Yeah, it's got to feel good for Fnatic, right? No worry about now Heretic's <laughs> suddenly... Nice little ballerina spin. Uh, no worry about Heretic suddenly climbing back into this game. Fnatic are probably feeling pretty ready to shut it out right here and right now. Will it be that easy? Crims, he got caught coming up short side, throwing utility. Didn't expect Nivera to be off the bomb site so fast. JW's got the AWP. 5-14, and 14, man. Having a rough game, but it's not really holding Fnatic back in any capacity. At least not in the scoreline. Oh, that's a, a really nice spray from Brolin. He's going to do so much damage to the second. JW spots two players crossing in and out. Doing the hokey pokey. But can Heretics turn this game around? Well, they're certainly in for a rough task. Man down here. And um, what could be their final buy really on Inferno if they're not able to get this one over the line. So Fnatic feeling comfortable. JW donning this AWP is over at long side and he's waiting for anyone to come tiptoeing into that crosshair. Crims as well, holding the arch. This is great for like a bait and switch. JW is going to be the man to make first contact right now. And then once he does, Crims is able to come in to help out. But before he even does any of that, he's dropped a smoke into the apartments and that delays this whole play from the heretics. They start to take this top mid control. And now, edging their way forward. This is not the place you want to be. This is where Fnatic are waiting. This is what they were hoping for. The smoke cuts off Crims. JW going to drop a molly, but Maka finds him from short. And now Crims is smoked off as well. Nevera through the smoke, gets rid of him. Brolin down in the pit has got to have one hell of a hold here. As they start to flood the site. Brolin, there's another. On to three now. 
as he's held down A single-handedly. The bomb does get planted, but he's given them a fighting chance. Flusher found over at long. Brolin spotted, but not dealt with yet. Dancing around in the pit. Needs support from Golden, who falls at the first hurdle. So Brolin now has to ace. He's on to four. Just lucky left to find, and Brolin knows. Oh! oh. The ace for Brolin. The defuse for Fnatic. And a 14th. It's funny how much one man can tear it all apart. Oh, that's just beautiful work from Brolin. Hiding in the pit, letting them go, and just shutting them down in the retake. I love it. Even gets the AWP and kit out of there as well. No issue. No, Not even close to the time either. I don't know what to say at this point. Fnatic, they are comfortable in their map pick. That is to say for sure. It was worrying starting this series when we when we looked at Golden. Like he was playing like classic Fnatic, aggressive, like looking for opening picks, great utility. He was he was shutting down uh, Heretics despite the rest of his team being kind of absent. And um, well, now we've got the the usual suspects uh, stepping up. Crims is looking good. Brolin acing and clutching, and Heretics well they're clutching at straws and at pistols too. Deagles against fourteen with a Galil and a Mac ten. Not a pretty picture. Fnatic are already sending a third rotation back towards that A bomb site. They're going to need it. Oh. One for Crims. Any more? Any more in the chamber? There it is. And almost the three piece. JW's here to help out. And Ooh. he's. Yeah, you know, not really been hitting the shots we know JW to hit today. But there's always time to keep getting warmed up. Brolin down in pit. Not again. He can't do it all alone. Surely the Molly forces him out into the open and Nevera will deal with him. Now that they've dealt with Brolin, maybe there's a chance in this round. Two on three, and with no Brolad to carry them across to the other side, Fnatic, they're relying on JW, Flusher, and Golden in this retake. The nades found a lot of damage. Golden snuck up short, and Kyo didn't see it. He's in the sight. Oh. A real nasty surprise. Kiyoshima now trying to hold on. And oh, in with two. JW down beneath him, but Kyo, a betting man, looking for the kill. Spraying away. Oh, they both missed the mark, and everyone's missing. There it is. Kiyoshima gets it done. Six on the board for Heretics. And map point denied to Fnatic as he holds down the sight in a 1v3. Oh boy, that was a messy one. And yeah, I mean, you hit the nail on the head talking about JW. These are some really uncharacteristic missed shots going to the pistol against a near full health Kyo as well. And even though he lets the uh, golden cross into the site, it looked like someone had called it because he desperately looked back for that kill uh, and was aiming into the smoke, but couldn't see him. Oh boy. A big sigh of relief. Kyo saving Heretic for one more round, keeping them in this one. Full USPs with a deeg or two or three actually. I can't count. A couple of grenades going into banana with a bit of damage, but by and large, this is heretics at the top of B for free. Oh, okay. The perfect round to gamble stack a site. Fnatic, nothing to lose at 14 6. Gonna move everyone over but Brolin and well, Crims, he's gone already. Oh, baby, maybe a second kill. This could really be, oh no, Flusher, he's just taken one. JW comes in through the smoke and now Fnatic making this interesting. Heretics see the numbers, they see three at a bare minimum and run right back, but the damage has already been done. Fnatic, they may not have guns, but they're a man up and Brolin has crept himself into the graveyard. Oh, oh, JW, we've been waiting. Here it yes. is, the JW moment. Tag it up with the Deeg Maka, trying to fight back, and he's just gotten around the corner. Still in with a chance. Do it. Oh, that's Brolin gone. Maka trying to come to life. He's very, very low, but so are his opponents on the other side. This is just pistols for Fnatic, and they stand about to reach map point unless Maka can have his say. He's tapped the bomb. He waits for Flusher, <gasps> oh, and oh, yes. tension drawn away. That's been the downfall of Team Heretics now and a few of these clutches, right? Not even the shots that are hitting, it's the ones that are just designed to take your attention off the mark. Map point for Fnatic. On their map pick, no less. They're trying to take us the distance and get us to Mirage. And with how things are looking right now, it feels like we definitely get there. Yeah, it's worrying for, Her uh, for Heretics, right? You know, obviously this is... Uh this is a match that Fnatic should be winning from the offset, and it was a bit of war a bit worrying seeing them fall so short and so silent on Nuke, but now that we've got the Swedes that we know and love back in control, Heretics, 
probably quaking in their boots somewhat. Of course, an elimination game here in the lower bracket. Her Heretics fell to the Frenchman of Vitality in their opening game, and Fnatic, well, they had to take on the juggernaut of Astralis with Bubsky and S-Tag in this uh, roster as well. Astralis looked very good. I think we're all sitting here kind of waiting with bated breath for their follow-up uh, follow match, rather, against Vitality, that winner of the, the French battle. Now we still have potentially more rounds on Inferno and most certainly another map. Ooh, Brolin tries to go aggressive. And tries is the operative word there. He actually faces his demise. JW's retrieved the M4 and gets that out of there. Juggles it out with the AWP, a real hero. He's just going to look to get this one down into the pit. Okay. That gives him options now, especially as they flood on out. This is a nice bit of planning uh -oh. ahead from JW, but instead all he's done is give them a weapons cache down in pit. Oh, dearie me, it's another kill for heretics, and this site now belongs to them. SN and JW, a thank you message after that one. Cheers, mate, for pulling all the guns into one place. Golden and Flush are left in this two on four. And it's probably a two on four they don't even attempt, honestly. Yeah, money's not great either, so it's honestly worth saving. They're hoping that heretics can give them some smoke kills or anything of the like, but with no free frags back into the site, it's simply about maintaining your money and getting this done before it gets too worrying, right? Like we've seen some really promising round, uh, rounds from Heretics in this map. Some really nice ideas. I like their fast play up mid in the pistol. Definitely caught Fnatic off guard going through the smoke. But by and large, it, they're just backs up against the wall, right? Maybe if they started on the T side, things could be different. But Fnatic, they went, what, 11-0 up to start this map. With so many saves from Heretics. Not even rounds they could attempt. That is Inferno 101. So this buy is pretty good for Fnatic, thanks to the save. Two guns bought up alongside the two saved. Orb still here for Maka. He's the top in his team right now, second in the server. And all those grenades are going to keep him passive for the time being. It's very weird because I feel like a lot of Fnatic have just, have just like cooled off during this time period in the sense that like. You look at like kills and stuff like that, outside of people like Brolin, for example, still keeping it rolling. Fnatic haven't had to do much outside of getting like a few kills to win rounds on that T side. It's been very, very quiet. Like we're in this, I, I've never cast an Inferno game like it where no, there's been so weird. few kills. It still just feels so weird. And so I'm hoping that Heretics can, can kind of give us a bit more excitement, give us something to be happy about. JW playing around that mid smoke. A boost up oh, over at long, yeah. has Golden getting the next kill, and now they sit in the man advantage. Keo caught in the apartments, and piece by piece they're stripped apart. Lucky and Nevera desperately trying to deny Mir Mirage the third and final map here in this series. And it's going to take absolutely everything left in the tank to pick this round up. Brolin back in the site. On with the M4, up on top of these boxes. He's a bit of a beast here. Nevera trying to check it, tagged on the first peak. And Lucky now facing the same fate. What? The nade might find Golden, but he gets himself out. And there's Brolin locking in.